presets can revolutionize your workflow as a street photographer. Let's get into it. Photo editing can be a mind-numbing, tedious task that sucks the joy out of photography, turning the lively process of shooting your photos into a monotonous sea of sliders and adjustments. It's a time-consuming process that can leave you feeling like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of tweaks and refinements, all in pursuit of that elusive perfect shot. But fear not, my fellow photographers, for there is a light at the end of the photo editing tunnel, and that light is presets. So today we're diving into the world of Lightroom presets and how they can revolutionize your editing workflow. Get ready to discover why presets are a must have for photographers, along with practical tips on finding, installing, and also creating your own presets. Let's get started. Presets are a powerful tool for maintaining a consistent editing style across your photos, allowing you to create a cohesive look that defines your particular style. By applying the same or similar presets to your images, you establish a visual thread that ties your work together. This consistency not only enhances the visual appeal of your street photography, but also helps you build a strong brand identity. Think of your favorite street photographers on Instagram feeds that you admire. Chances are they have a distinct and consistent editing style that makes their work instantly recognizable. That's the beauty of having a consistent look. It makes your work stand out from the crowd and presets are your trusty tools that help you achieve that. They give you a solid base to build from. So where can you find presets? Well, there are countless resources available, both free and paid, offering a wide range of preset collections. The easiest way to search for them is just searching on Google, where by clicking on any of the links, you can find free and paid presets that you can download. Etsy is another good resource for paid presets. And because it's 2024, you can even do a web search with ChatGPT where you can get some tailor-made responses from your new AI buddy. The only presets that I have actually bought are specific ones from photographer and YouTuber Jamie Windsor, who is a great resource for learning about photography. I particularly like his Cine Still and his Kodachrome presets, which I use from time to time. Once you have found presets that speak to your style, installing them is a piece of cake. To save them on Windows, it's C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Lightroom, and Develop Presets. And for Mac OS, it's Users, Your Username, Library, application support, Adobe, Lightroom, and develop presets. So download the presets from wherever you want to get them from, navigate to the develop presets folder on your hard drive and save the zip file. And then in Lightroom Classic, simply click the add new presets plus sign. Make sure you navigate to the develop presets folder, which I already have done and click import and voila. For Lightroom CC, it's also easy. Sorry about that. First, make sure you're in the develop module, then click on the presets button in the toolbar on the right hand side of the screen. To import a preset, click on the three dots over here and choose import presets. Navigate to the location where your presets are stored, select the ones you want to import and click import. And that's it. Now, it's important to note that in Lightroom CC, your presets are synced across all of your devices through the Creative Cloud where you're signed in with your Adobe ID, such as Lightroom Mobile. Unlike Lightroom Classic, where presets are stored locally, Lightroom CC keeps your presets in the cloud, 
making them easily accessible wherever you are. You can also download presets directly to your mobile phone as DNG files. By the way, I'm giving away this preset for free just for one week only. So head on over to my site once you've seen this video. Once you've downloaded it from a website, you can add it to your files or in your photos as I have done. I've saved the DNG file to an album in my photos. And once it's imported into Lightroom, you click the three dots at the top right and then you can save it as a preset. But more on saving presets in Lightroom Mobile later. By the way, if you're using an Android phone, once you've downloaded the DNG file to your files, importing it into Lightroom will be exactly the same process. Presets are a game changer when it comes to saving time and boosting efficiency in your editing process. With just a click, you can apply your desired look to your photos, which drastically reduces the amount of time spent on making individual adjustments. I often do this depending upon the location that I shoot in and also the time of day. I might use one of my night presets on a collection of photos that I shot at night, whereas I use a different preset on a collection of photos that I shot in the daytime. And this can also change depending upon the weather that I shoot in. Sunny weather might lend itself to a more vibrant preset, whereas I would pick something more moody for skies that aren't so pleasant. So if you work in weddings, events, or any other professional or non-professional jobs, batch editing with presets becomes an invaluable tool, applying your preset to as many photos as you like. To make the most of this, it's a good idea to organize your presets into collections or folders within Lightroom. This way you can quickly access your favorite presets and apply them to your photos in a flash. Presets also offer a world of creative possibilities for photographers. They allow you to experiment with different styles, moods and aesthetics, giving you lots of easily accessible choices to craft the right look for your images. I sometimes have difficulty with envisioning how I want a photo to look in the end after I import them into Lightroom. So when I edit, I generally play with the sliders and I might use some of the local adjustments and I generally get the look I want in the end. However, for me, having presets that I have created takes away the difficulty I sometimes have in working out a specific look because I've already got my favorite looks at a click of a button. Therefore, I think creating your own custom presets is a fantastic way to tailor your editing workflow to your specific needs and preferences. All you've got to do is start by editing a photo to your liking, then save those adjustments as a preset. In Lightroom Classic, click the plus button on the presets panel, create a name, add it to a group, or even create a group if you want. Check the adjustments that you want to keep as part of your preset and click create. It's exactly the same process in Lightroom CC where you get to name a group, add a name to your preset and also check the settings. The only difference is the layout of the create preset section. And it's pretty easy to do in Lightroom Mobile as it's exactly the same process as Lightroom CC. Edit your photo, Head over to the preset section, click the three dots in the circle on the upper right and choose create preset. Plus, just like the other two Lightrooms, you can also add your presets to folders and you can type in a preset name and a group name if you want. You can manage your presets by clicking the plus button or right clicking on the header of a preset collection. This is where you can hide or show presets to your liking, which will make your preset panel look neat and orderly. You can also do this in Lightroom CC and Lightroom Mobile by clicking on the three dots and clicking Manage Presets respectively.
working with presets is not only a time saver, but it's also a great learning opportunity. As you apply presets, take a moment to analyze the adjustments that you've made. Observe how different settings, such as exposure, contrast, and color balance impact your final image. For instance, I started with a preset that pushed the hues towards the teals, so I played with these a little to get the traffic light color exactly how I wanted it, and I noticed the image needed a little bit more contrast. So I jumped into the tone curve and made some adjustments to give the photo a little bit more pop. It's amazing how after applying a preset, playing with these settings can really help transform the image and can also help you understand how each tool impacts the overall look. This process will help you gain a deeper understanding of Lightroom's editing tools and help you develop your editing skills along the way. So after applying your presets, don't be afraid to tweak and customize your photos to suit your specific needs. I think it's quite rare if after you apply a preset to a photo, you don't need to tweak the photo afterwards. Experimenting with different adjustments can not only help you expand your editing knowledge, but also help you create unique looks that reflect your style. You don't need a body of work to start selling presets. You can just export them, upload them to a website such as Etsy. And if you're offering enough value to the customer, and if you market them correctly, hopefully you might make a few dollars on the side. However, you can also sell your own presets on your own website if you choose that option. Instead of a market website like Etsy, I use Squarespace for my website. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, but they've made it really easy to sell presets on there. I just simply upload them onto the site and they're ready to go. So if you want to export presets to sell or just share them with your friends, all you've got to do is right click on the preset and click export and then just save the preset or a zip file to the location of your choice. Just a quick note, you can also export the photo as a DNG file to make mobile presets. And you can also export the presets in Lightroom CC just by right clicking on the preset group or the preset that you wish to sell. And once again, right click, select export and choose DNG as image type to create a mobile preset. Just a quick one, please give this video a like if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more street photography explorations. So that's presets. I'd love to know your thoughts or if you have any resources that you'd like to share. So please leave a comment down below. And remember, presets are just the beginning of your editing journey. So embrace the possibilities experiment boldly and let your creativity soar. However, if you want to learn how street photography projects can improve your photography, then check out this video here. Until we meet again, go forth and create.